Welcome to the tutorial LabTix2 based on NTX21. You can see the boot screen with uh, several options I'm going to explain now. The first entry is uh, the standard um, menu entry to start LabTix2. You, next you have uh, the save video mode which might be interesting when you are running LabTix2 on a laptop with um, a special graphic card. Um, VirtualBox you normally don't see, it's only here because uh, I'm running it in a virtual box. Um, Failsafe boot is also interesting when you have uh, special hardware features which um, are not support supported by the basic um, laptics. When you use failsafe mode it might boot into the desktop even if it failed uh, before. Then you have um, on the function keys you have options to change for instance uh, the user language. Uh, English is the standard uh, one. F4 offers you again several options for instance to run um, loads Leptix2 into memory and you can remove the boot media after booting or off is a um, battery or energy management option uh, if you boot a uh, laptop and during booting it turns off it might be an interesting option to check. There are much more options uh, as there are so many hardware but uh, we found out that uh, Leptix 2 is running from the scratch on most of laptops. It is not available in a 32-bit option so if it completely uh, is not starting then uh, check the message on screen when it says that it is not an appropriate hardware uh, you have to run it on 64 bit CPU. Um, there is an option which you can't see F8 it is interesting for instance if you change language, keyboard, many other things then uh, you are able to store that using F8 and next time when you boot you will see it on the top entry of the menu um, a new option customer boot and then you don't have to do all the modifications again it is already set to your individual settings and persistence mode is might also be interesting when you plan to work out a Leptix 2 version for your own for instance when you install new software or make major modifications then you can store it after uh, running Leptix 2 in a persistence mode and next time when you start you can load this environment and all modifications are already done but that needs additional capacity on your boot media a 4 gigabyte or better 8 gigabyte uh, USB stick is recommended. So now we are booting Leptix 2 and we see us soon again. In Englisch ist es ein bisschen größer geworden. On the desktop of Leptix 2 you can see a lot of new features. In the middle you have the tool to connect to your 
Wi-Fi or local network. Uh, you have to add, of course, your key and then you are able to connect. On the left upper corner, you have a lot of tools for adapting the black light brightness in case this is not possible by the function keys. Magnify and unmagnify your desktop to change the re resolution of your desktop. P sensor delivers data from the temperature and other hardware conditions. Network scanner to find out the IP addresses of servers, printers, etc. YPFS is a tool for fast uh, removal of data. It is but it is necessary to use our installation tool which is writing several times random data to the disk. In the docs folder you will find manuals and video tutorials. The labdo installer became now part of the file manager CCCFM. Um, here it is only explained how to find it and how to use it. Audacious is an audio tool if you want to listen to music during the installation and to check uh, the loudspeaker. Auto deploy legacy and UEFI is a powerful script if you want to install very individually software and content, but there is a separate tutorial about that. Clonezilla is for experienced users if you want to create your own image or if you want to install on a very technical base. Disk Check is a tool to read more about the status of a hard disk or SSD. Um, as long as those symbols here are not light red or dark red, you don't have to care. But if errors are reported, you have to take a closer look. Um, some SSDs um, report data errors which aren't really errors, so you have to investigate more in details. Um, but if there are errors reported on the drives, you should consider about installing new disk drives so they don't um, break down when they're delivered uh, to school. Gparted is uh, the partition manager. Here you can see details about the partition installed. This disk wasn't, was not uh, deleted, so we will do that during the installation later. Um, usually you don't have to use the partition manager. Um, everything is done automatically by our script, but in case you have to, it's here. Hard info shows you a lot of hardware details, um, installed RAM, CPU capacity, disk drive, etc. Speaker test is a tool to check left and right uh, loud loudspeaker. Stress CPU uh, is causing a lot of uh, calculations for one minute and in combination with P sensor you can see the change of temperature and if it's necessary for instance to clean um, the fan or if there are other problems in case this uh, laptop is given to a very hot country. In the right upper corner uh, on uh, Conky you will see more hardware details as Leptix 2 is a real 64-bit tool you will see the RAM now like here 8 gigabyte um, number of cores the disks available and the battery status is also very important condition shows you kind of life cycle of the battery if it is more than 50% uh, condition then it's fine between 30 and 50 you should consider about uh, getting a new battery and below 30% it's more or less uh, needed 
to think about a new battery and full shows you uh, the percentage of uh, loaded uh, battery and legacy boot and UEFI boot will show you the way how this tool was boot booted this will become important now when you open the file manager you will see the several drives available for instance you can connect to your uh, network server which is uh, connected by um, the protocol and when you when you choose uh, the path to your uh, server and the folder and eventually you have to add your password to connect to your server then you will see the folders of the images for instance um, like here or alternatively you can choose an external USB disk you connect it and then it will be uh, shown in the device list and when you mark it it will show you here the available images as a standard we have uh, German, English, Spanish and French images depending on the country and the language spoken in the country and then you have to choose your imaging, image matching to the disk drive and once you have decided which one which image you need you click with the right mouse on the folder of the image and then you have to choose between legacy and UEFI installer. Standard is legacy if you were able to um, switch off secure boot and UEFI in the BIOS. If not, uh, you should try the UEFI installer. When you click with the left mouse on legacy installer for instance, you will be asked next step uh, where to install the image in this case it is not SDA it is NVMe0N1 as the name of the disk and next you are asked how often you want to write random data to the disk three times is the recommended number uh, but you are able to change that and if you already registered, tagged um, the laptop in our database and you are aware of the device number then you can add it here and the host name will be changed automatically. N next time when you press <coughs> OK the installation process will be started. Um, this might last several hours depending on speed and size of the disk. At the end everything will be uh, adapted. The partition size will be uh, adapted and you can shut down and reboot uh, the device and everything should be in working condition. Thank you.